It pays me to make this video because I really like Blair the Flair Cops. I really like his attitude. I really like his mindset. I really like how he runs up on people and he's willing to fight anybody, but he took a loss. Now that doesn't mean that his career is over because Alexis Roca looks like a decent fighter. He only has one loss to Rashidi Ellis. And other than that, he's looked pretty good in all of his fights. So he may be a lot better than what people give him credit for. Or it could just be that Blair the Flair Cobbs isn't as good as he was getting credit for. I hope that is not the case because, like I said, I like the dude. I like how he has taken on challenges. Now, people can say, well, who has he fought? Well, at least he's fought guys who aren't coming off a bunch of losses. At least he fought guys who are younger. At least he's fighting guys that will be a challenge and not there to lay down. So that's why I like fighters like him. Who I said earlier, Rashidi Ellis, he is looking decent too on the come up. That beat Roca. But at the end of the day, Cobbs got stopped in the ninth round. The referee stepped in. He got dropped in the eighth round. I remember he got hurt in the second round. And I want to say around the fourth or the fifth round, he got hurt again. So his chin was getting caught. It seemed to be from the left hands, whether it was the left hook getting in. Or just in general, that left hand just kept finding its home against him and he couldn't really adjust to it or stop Roca from hitting him in the chin with the left. So that's something he needs to go back to the drawing board and work on because it's a flaw. It's a chink in his defense, a chink in his armor, however you want to say it. And he's got to be able to adjust on the fly, especially if he's fighting bigger guys like Earl Spence Jr. who are going to hit much, 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 much harder. So... Unfortunately for him, he took a test, he failed it, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road. We need fighters like this who are going to fight guys coming off of wins who don't have a 100,000 losses fighting other young guys who are on the come up as well and then the best rise to the top. That's what makes boxing great. Not having guys fight guys who are coming off five, six losses who are 90 years old who no one even really gives them a shot. These young dudes should be fighting each other. If you look at throwback fighters, they all had losses. All of them. Why? Because they continually fought people on their level. Not below their level, but at their level or slightly above their level. That's how they improved. That's how we had classic fights. That's how we have names that last forever. Nowadays, these young boxers who look impressive, they just fight guys that they're going to blow through. They stand no challenge whether it be on paper or in reality. And that's why I like Blair the Flair. So Blair, I hope you come back from this better. Even the phoenix burns up and dies, but it rises from the flames to come back better than it was before. Blair the Flair is on the older side of boxing at 32 years old with only, what is his 15, 16 fight? So there's the age factor, but at the same time, if you think about it, he really doesn't have a lot of wear and tear on his body. So even though his, unless he gets old overnight physically, he, he really is young in terms of his boxing career. So I don't really see age being as much of a factor for him as it would be for some other fighters. So again, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's just one thing of advice. If you're going to talk shit about other fighters, make sure you don't lose. Because when you talk all that big boy shit and you lose, now the haters are going to come. And there's no defense that can save you other than at least you're fighting guys you're supposed to be fighting. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, hit the thumbs up, sub, and notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. And with that being said, woo!